Hello, welcome back to Blender Station Live. In this episode, I will show you a couple of apps of the iPhone that works really cool with Blender. All right, so the first one is CamTrack AR. So earlier today, I did a scan of this table seat, and this is the app. Uh, it's basically uh, understand the table and the seat, and also things like floor and wall, and it will create some kind of uh, flat plane that it will track you can track it in an, uh, in this case I'm using 60 frames per second so it says tracking is good and I'm placing some kind of empty locators and once I state okay this is gonna be a floor or just gonna be a table it's gonna understand and then it's, I, I can start recording so this is a just a quick scan and then what I'll do here we're gonna have like some kind of footage like a 2k footage and then also um, all these dots will be placed at the exact place there's a limit um, the limit is only like uh, things like lens etc but I think we can use something like this for uh, maybe like camera projection mapping so this is the footage this is the clean footage it's actually the crop is 4 by 3 this is like full frame and you can simply crop it uh, smaller. We didn't actually scan the object. You, there is another app that's allowing you to scan uh, the scene, but this is the actual footage. This is a flat footage. So with a contract AR, it comes with a bunch of files. This is all the files uh, that comes with it. And this is the add-on, hit by fil hit film, that's allowing you to quickly um, import the scene it also comes with FBX but I'm just gonna use the this HFCS file this is the camera this is all the locators um, so from the inside of the camera we can use background image and we're gonna load our movie clip the movie clip is this load it and I believe the movie is always one one frame a little bit late so I'm gonna select all the keyframe G and then plus one so one frame forward now the tracking is perfect and this is a uh, 60 frame per second you can see uh, it's matched correctly and if I place a grid this is gonna be a floor and if I look at it from here okay this is definitely the floor this is the chair and this is the table you can place 3d objects uh, to be really sure so this is a tracking demo so uh, I was uh, with CamTrack AR, we are using the back camera. There's another app that's using the front camera, such as the FaceCap app. I will show you in a bit. So let's go back to our camera. This is 60 frames per second, and we can adjust this opacity. Let's save this. So this is the... Okay, I need to mark this properly. I believe that's the table so this is table surface this is for you can use this for camera uh, for the shadow shadow catcher I think this is actually the chair yeah so this is placement for the chair and this is for the floor okay it again Okay, we can hide them. Let's bring in something like a 3D objects file. Import, uh, we have this banana from Sketchfab. Import uh, GLTF. So oftentimes the Sketchfab model comes like this. There's a locator, 
there is a banana underneath of the locators for the placements so this banana I'm just gonna rename it I'm gonna right click parent clear parents and keep confirmations and I'm gonna delete this delete hierarchy so I want to center the pivot snap cursor or set actually set origin to Trinity oops can be like that so we're gonna put banana on the floor one banana on the floor one on the chair and one on the table just the to be sure so we know we are in the, on the right place rotate it a little bit let's go back to the camera so it's doing the tracking for you perfectly and you can see it works and we just it's just a matter of adding shadow, um, shadow catcher, things like that. Or you might actually want to model the whole scene. Let's put this on the floor. So this is CamTrack AR. It's tracking the scene, create footage for you. You can place locators. With the app itself, you can actually bring in like a USDZ AR object. So you can have like some kind of reference. So I'm gonna get rid of the bananas for now. There's another app that's actually quite interesting. Is this one? Um, okay, yeah, this one. This is Face Cap app. Okay, so this is a Disney animators doing funny face on Twitter. So I'm basically using the app and kind of reload it. Let, let me show you what's what's happening uh, so far import and if I have if I have a new then the file file import FBX this is the FBX that's been converted I believe this is also capturing capturing the face expressions at 60 frames per second uh, yeah I think so 60 frames per second the mesh is a bit funny because we need to select all mesh and then remove the normal okay. so this is the animation it's actually uh, kind of matching file import images planes It is matching, however, I think the frame per second is a bit wrong. And there's something that can be fixed from here. If we go open it with a text editor and find a like a time. Replace this with number three. And we're gonna delete the FBX that's been converted. We're gonna reopen it. This is our Autodesk FBX converter, so Blender can really convert. So hopefully now we have like a 60 frame per second. I think this is the one file import. Um, 
This is 24 per second. I think once we import it, it's going to be 60 frames per second, hopefully. Now you can see it's matching. So select all by top type mesh. Get rid of this auto smooth. So now we can save this file, save as Karawaro. We have a matching video and animations. This is the the, the last keyframe, right? The last keyframe. We can just copy paste. So you can do this quite easily. This is using FaceCap app. It's capturing your 52 or 54 facial animation data automatically on the on the iPhone as well. So it's pretty cool. Now if we go back to tracking demo, this is the scenes that we already have. I think all what's missing is probably like a green screen. Um, I could give another demo with the green screen um, for now. Just going to import our FPX. I want to place the head on the table. Okay, uh, wait, wait. Select all by type mesh. This always happens, I don't know why. I'm going to get rid of this auto smooth on the head. This is the head. You're going to place it on the table, I think, or on the chair. Place it on the chair. It's going to it's gonna move. I think it's best placed on the table, I think. The head will move around, I think, but I, I can get rid of the rotations and the transform. So these are the rotations. I can get rid of it. So currently it's moving around. Clear keyframes. Reset the rotations. Now it doesn't have rotation. Still have motion here. Clear keyframes there. You can zero it out. Now the head is just static on the table. And we should have like a shadow on the table so it's looking believable. Okay, so yeah, I think the iPhone, especially the, with the iPhone 12 Pro, is really like really powerful smartphone. I think I, I, I haven't tested with iPhone X, uh, iPhone 10, which is like two or three years ago and it's already kind of working you can actually do this cam track AR and also face cap using the iPhone 10 and I think I don't think many people knows this I don't think many 3d artists use it or maybe some but yeah it's a really powerful device that you, you can use to do the tracking you can also do like a green screen kind of a like a figure what do they call it human segmentations, real-time AR tracking of the scene and also placement of 3D objects and also tracking of the face. So it's a really powerful device and you can also do the 3D scanning. I haven't scanned uh, this table yet but I can replace it. So what's gonna happen here is that if you rebuild this, this uh, scene, simple scenes with a like a chair, table, maybe from Sketchfab you can actually have the full scene and you can this is just like a small cropping frame of uh, of the balcony but you can always make like a set extension that goes beyond this little balcony so you can make it as big or as small 
and use camera projection, uh, camera projection mapping maybe. So yeah, I think I will give that give that a try. So ultimately, you know, I think with this setup, you can create your animations and then you export it out as AR and share it with your friend, for example. And you can make like a story with it. Um, I'm probably gonna do a render. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll do a render and just post it later, but hopefully you'll find this demo interesting. Um, so again, the iPhone, Blender, and the two apps, Contract AR and FaceCap, always kind of something that you can keep in mind next time you want to do like a 3D um, filmmaking. It's actually, you can do this really fast under just a few minutes. All right, so thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.